Wireless Broadband Group recently introduced the PMP320 platform. This is a new licensed band product that offers high throughput and great coverage in the 3 gigahertz band. Because this is a new product and a new platform for us, the, we thought we'd spend a few minutes and cover the differences between the traditional PMP platforms and this new PMP320. As I mentioned, this is a licensed band product. So it's important that customers looking to use the PMP320 in their solutions for point-to-multipoint connectivity uh, confirm that they have a license for this. What, and we cover frequency bands from 3.3 gigahertz to 3.8 gigahertz. This is an 802.16e based product. So it has the features and capabilities that are associated with 802.16e, such as 2x2 MIMO, uh, 40 millisecond rod trip latency, and 16 kilometer range. So these are things that come along with uh, offering a standards-based solution. It's important to note that this is a different platform from the traditional PMP products. So it'll have a different software release roadmap and different software release features. So when you look at a PMP product and relative to the PMP320, you have to take a close look at the user guide and documentation and release notes to understand exactly what features are available in each product. Associated with that is the web interfaces are, are, are different between the two products. Uh, the PMP320 has a user interface uh, through a web-based GUI, uh, both on the access point and the subscriber module. You should review the user guide and the training materials uh, available at wirelessbroadbandsupport.com as a way to, uh, to understand the differences and, and learn more about the product. Uh, another point that's different is that uh, AES encryption is included at no extra cost with the PMP320, so it's basically built into the radios, the access point, and the subscriber modules. No need to order separate part numbers for that. And from a network management standpoint, uh, this product uses Wireless Manager 2.2 for element management, and it uses and it does not use the uh, the Prism element management system. So you want to keep in mind. Uh, that the wireless manager is the uh, element management system. For authentication, again, the PRISM slash BAM products are not used with the PMP320. Instead, we use a standard RADIUS AAA product, uh, and we've tested both uh, free RADIUS and the Aerodial AAA server, but the uh, end customer is, is certainly welcome to use other AAA servers because it uses a basic standard base technology. Probably the biggest and most noticeable difference is that uh, the PMP320 uses a Layer 3 technology, whereas the traditional PMP products have used Layer 2. So I'll spend a couple more moments on that, uh, on that difference in the next slide. So fundamentally, the PMP traditional products are Layer 2 uh, operation. That means that the access point and the subscriber module both operate as bridges. Uh, a PMP320 product operates at layer three, sometimes referred to as uh, IP convergent sublayer. And that means that the access point acts as a router and the subscriber module acts as a NAT device. Now, th there are advantages and disadvantages to both approaches, layer two or layer three, and people will argue one or the other. What's important to note is that when you're looking to do things like QoS, uh, segmentation of your traffic, uh, assigning public IP addresses, there's just different ways of doing it with layer two and with layer three. So you need to take a look at, with a PMP320 product, uh, the way you go about doing uh, assigning public IP addresses, setting up quality of service, segmenting your traffic, is gonna be different than what you're used to seeing. Now it's still um, a, a straightforward process, it's well documented, uh, we have IP reference tools that help, uh, help guide you through that process, but it's important to note that this is a difference. Um, the, another point to note is that later this year, the PMP320 will offer a software upgrade to support both Layer 2 and Layer 3 operations. So at the time of deployment, you can choose, do I want to run this network in Layer 2 or Layer 3? And that, that upgrade is available as a software upgrade uh, that uh, with no additional charge and can be delivered over the air using our um, network management tools. And another uh, point just to cover here is the PMP320 throughput. Now this is a high throughput platform offering uh, up to 45 megabits per second in a, in a particular sector. 
And a lot of people ask, well, under what conditions will I see that 45 megabits per second? And because this product has a number of different uh, uh, features that can be configured, uh, I'll kind of go through what it takes to set up a 45 megabits per second connection. Uh, first of all, you need to have the, uh, the configuration settings. Uh, this is a, a 10 megahertz channel to get to the high throughput. We also offer 7 and 5 meg channels. Uh, you set it up in 75-25 uplink-downlink ratio, and you set it up with best effort service flows. So you get to the configuration to the best case for 45 megabits per second. Now on top of that, in order to uh, load up the sector with the full capacity, you need more than one subscriber module. In fact, you need up to five uh, subscriber modules to uh, load up a complete sector. And each individual subscriber module will uh, be able to, to pull uh, between 10 and 12 megabits per second, depending on the application, the protocol mix. Uh, that's about the maximum that you'll get with a, one, an individual subscriber module. So you can see by having five or six subscriber modules, you can fill out the entire sector and deliver that full 45 megabits per second. Now, of course, as with every other point-to-multipoint -point solution, uh, you need solid signal levels to reach these high throughputs. So you need... Uh, a, a, a low noise environment, a high, uh, a high signal to noise ratio, and you need relatively short, short links. So that is the, um, the, the, the key aspects to, uh, to achieving the 45 megabits per second. So we invite you to, uh, to check out the PMP320. It's a new product uh, launched uh, this year, and, we, um, and, and thanks for listening.